I uh, don't know a lot about homelessness. And I wanted to know. Like I don't know if people in my family, like my grandpa, who's like almost 60, is still homeless. And then Eugene. And like, I don't know, it was something I could relate to. I don't know very much about the homeless, and I kind of thought doing this, I might be able to better educate myself on them. What we've discovered is that young people are either running away from something or running to something. I think a lot of folks are homeless by choice. Sometimes the abuse issues in the family drives them out. I chose to be homeless and trying to figure out who I, who I was. A lot of folks, they get out on the street and they get used to the lifestyle. Like I'm saying, then they go to try to get off the street and it's too much for them. They're used to this and it freaks them out. There's the people that are trying to be politically incorrect, that have housing, that do it because they're rebel. It's kind of rebelling against their parents or are just not really, not really sure who they are. A lot of them are just plain, flat out rebellious. Sir, you don't have any extra change, do you? Oh, I wish I did, my friend. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. you know, we're, we're pretty much the program in town to provide the safe shelter for young people that have run away or are at risk of becoming homeless. We don't want to create the next homeless youth here in Portland, Oregon. The average length of stay is about four and a half days. Uh, the federal government mandates 72 hours. Uh, but it's not a place to live. And we get that request a lot. You know, I, I want to live, you know, I can't live with my mom and dad. I want to live with you guys. Well, we're going to work with the family. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do what we can to get the family uh, at the table. Pair is a place where, where uh, people can hang out. We don't have very many rules at PEAR, um, except that you stay engaged. And, um, and that can look like reading or cooking or doing art. The environment is set up in such a way. We have a lot of volunteers and then we have our staff. And what we do is use the tools of education, art, and recreation to engage young people and talk to people uh, in the community about youth homelessness. Well, we have a gallery. Um, the uh, kids can show their work there. We have a, a guest artist who, who shows. We have a show about every two months now. So we have a guest artist and then artwork uh, by the young people who come here. And uh, kids can sell their work in the gallery. And they get to keep 90% of the profit if, that, if they do sell their work. Probably may there be a lot of things I do, but for homeless people, so I would make a lot of houses for homeless people. Families, whatever, I don't care. Also go and help out, like, volunteer at the, like they do at the Blanchett House. It started uh, out um, basically as a social group at uh, University of Portland. And uh, these guys were talking, they thought it would be a great idea. And 57 years ago, they decided to make this uh, uh, talk actually action and they came down and they found this this building which was abandoned basically at that time and cleaned it up themselves and started the Blanche House of Hospitality. It really depends on the donations that we get in what you know the convention center will give us a call at two o'clock in the afternoon and say hey we got a whole bunch of stuff and we'll drive up there and they'll have 400 pounds of pre-cooked taco meat and we've got to decide okay are we gonna make tacos we're we gonna make meatloaf we're going to make spaghetti sauce out of the meat and then cook up noodles. We've got to kind of change with what we're getting. We always put a, a well-balanced meal where we have a, you know, a meat entree and then a, a fruit salad and a grain salad and a pastry for each meal. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anybody that's hungry can get food here. And they can come, the hours that we're open, we're open three different times, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They can just get back in line and come in and have another meal. So we see the same people come in two, three times in one meal time. Yeah, we fill up the entire dining room in about three minutes. Money runs out, they come and see us. I'd say if you're rebelling against your parents, whether you agree with them or not, just 
just go home. No use hanging out here. It's not a fun place. You can get addicted to drugs and alcohol. It's easier once you realize that no matter what happens tomorrow or today, that every this time next year, you're not going to be worried about the same Once you realize that, you know, the life goes on, no matter how hard you fight it, things get easier. Just ask somebody for help. Lay down your pride and say, hey, can you help me? Do one of y'all have any extra change or anything, by chance? I don't Thank you, thank you, yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't really need it. I'm, sure. Yeah, I'm with um, Project Youth Documentary, oh, okay. <laughs> and we're doing a, like an experiment type of thing, uh -huh. seeing who would give change, who wouldn't. Mm. So. Yeah, we're doing an experiment. Oh, just to see just who. With the youth thing. See, there's a camera right there. Oh goodness! See that <laughs> we came back. Okay. See, we are nice. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have a good heart. Have a nice day.